Hi, this is uh, February 23rd, 2012. Reverend Dr. Michael Vanderpool, intuitive astrologer here in Belize, the Republic of Georgia. And today's topic is the last astrology heads up video for January, February 2012, the astrology of war, question uh, mark. As of uh, the 21st and uh, in the, I think, February 22nd, 2012, it was published in a New York Times article that the stock markets uh, had risen to an all-time high within these last four years. The last time was that high was, uh, or higher was in 2008. And I published uh, that video that I just referenced to that I made to YouTube December 30th, 2012. And it actually published before that on my Facebook, November 25th, and again December 5th, about the uh, astrology on the June 9th to 15th, 2012 window, as well as the uh, February 24th, around, I said, February 24th to March 13th window of time, which has the Jupiter trine Pluto that we see in the sky right now, or coming in to effect. And uh, if you look at the rules of Meiji Astrology, you'll see that uh, up to 24 hours before, maybe a little even before that, but uh, definitely up to 24 hours before, up to a week after an aspect like that is applying and then, and then uh, peaks, it can be in effect or when it stops applying. So uh, what this means is, is that about six minutes into that video, uh, has, you know, heads up, January, February 2012, Astrology of War, question mark, that I put up on YouTube December 30th, uh, 2011, um, talking about, uh, you know, the situation with the Mars trine Sun, that there's the great probability uh, of war, or possibility of war because of the Mars trine Sun in the January 9 to uh, January 15, 2012 window. Uh, which can be evidenced as an absolutely accurate prediction by looking at Debka File News, the Israeli uh, news source called Debka File, reported in an article published on their website December 15th, 2000, I'm sorry, January 15th, 2012, that the uh, largest war exercises in U.S. history between the U.S. and Israel was on that day, if I understood correctly, if I read correctly, and if my memory serves me correctly canceled. And I think there was something mentioned like maybe 15,000 troops in, I don't know, Kuwait or somewhere. Uh, 9,000 U.S. troops had arrived in Israel and uh, basically the world media was chattering, uh, chatting sorry, about the idea of uh, well, the war in the Middle East. So that's pretty good for an astrological prediction. Uh, it's not the first one that I've done that's become accurate. That is the first part that proves accurate. The second part of really what I consider to be a few parts of this astrological analysis that is now proven correct is the fact that I said uh, I expected things to be resolved or maybe even that, well, I said that Assad, I believe that Assad would maybe lose power or that would lose power sometime between the February 24th and March 13th, 16th window. I'm uh, now uh, saying that that was based on the seeing of this Jupiter trine Pluto aspect in the sky now that we see uh, that actually starts technically speaking tomorrow on the 24th I'm speaking about New York time and lasts until March 13th but again the effects can be 24 hours or more some days before and up to you know, three days in terms of natalization or up to a week after really. And so that part of the analysis has proven correct in that, again, all this, the, the stock markets, all the news in the U.S. Uh, basically has talked about how the stock markets rose to an all-time high that we haven't seen in the last four years, since 2008. That's the effect of Jupiter trying Pluto. So that makes two parts of the last astrological analysis absolutely correct. And the other part of the uh, astrology that still remains to be seen is what happens with Assad in Syria and that situation. And uh, 
this Jupiter trying Pluto that lasts that comes in tomorrow and lasts until March 13th and in effect maybe up to three days or a week after that we'll see what happens and what the future brings uh, in regards to my first public published accurate uh, in this case down to the day accurate prediction with astrology using Meiji Astrology is an ebook report that I published um, March 18, 2007 on the war that took place in Israel I predicted at that time that uh, they would see a little bit of double turbulence around March 29th and that was actually the Arab uh, uh, Arab heads getting together and basically telling Israel give up some land to face some war when I think it was a Russian general was published at the time saying that uh, the Americans or whatever there would probably be war you know at the end of March 2007 when actually uh, my ebook report a storm warning for Israel spring summer 2007 proved to be down to the day accurate in that it started about the end of June I called it a storm warning um, it was a grand cross in the Israeli government chart and that war ended I believe later in July but officially if I understood the news correctly in signatories August 1st which is exactly what I said uh, in the two opening paragraphs of this 28 page ebook report which I had listed on both eBay at that time and my website so that makes at least minimum three specific public published in advance months in advance astrological predictions down to the day or down to the week accurate that I've made at least three actually there is another one or two that I could refer to but at least three minimum so I have to give thanks to my parents first of all my mother my father also my brother uh, for being supportive of me and uh, it's been strange for them <laughs> to say the least because I've also predicted uh, deaths down to the week uh, accidents um, I've predicted positive things like I just said we predicted this uh, all the markets going up overall uh, and that's that's one heck of a prediction I mean I gotta admit that uh, you know an all-time high that we haven't seen in the stock markets on the 21st when I was talking about the 24th effect uh, that we haven't seen since 2008 I mean that is a very accurate prediction and it's quite a significant prediction using Meiji astrology and on that note I want to give thanks to the Meiji Society and those members and others out there that support uh, the Meiji Society and Meiji Astrology. It's been a very important part of this whole possibility, this whole phenomena. So, and uh, I'm going to be posting this on and at YouTube, publishing this to YouTube, and of course my Facebook and to my friends uh, on Facebook. Thank you for those that have been supportive and uh, encouraging in. Uh, you know keeping this going you know who you are um, so uh, I'll move on into another important message right now and that is the fact that we see uh, a very nasty T-square coming up about mid-July uh, this summer 2012 and that's going to be what I call kind of a stiff opposition T-square and this is a sign of turbulence so um, in addition to that, we see a Mars trying Chiron, which can be some confrontational energy, dynamically speaking. And we see that around the end of June 2012. And interestingly enough, that's right after June 2012, we see the first of several Uranus trine, I'm sorry, Uranus square Pluto aspects coming exact. The first of which that comes exact that we haven't seen since 1932 to 1934. And so that can mean the unexpected, sudden, shocking, unusual changes or stress to the banking system or the markets. And there's going to be several more Uranus square Plutos come exact between June 24th and into 2015. Now what's significant is, is that I listened to a very important radio show, I believe on David Baker, uh, Beyond the Gate radio show, interview Sunday night, and I'm again, this is February 23rd, 2012 when I'm filming this, and uh, I listened to the Psychic Twins, Linda and 
Terry Jameson. And it's a very important radio show. I encourage everyone to listen to that because I was absolutely shocked. Uh, well, not shocked, but it was the wow factor. You know, those of us that are into the metaphysical and the, uh, the magical, so to speak, uh, you can call it the magic of life or uh, whatever you want to call it. But uh, we try to get over the wow factor, you know, like wow, when you see things that, you know, you kind of know or kind of hope or kind of intend to pass, like predicting certain future events, and then you do, and they happen, and you're like, wow, and everybody else around you is like, wow, or they have a denial mechanism going on, sometimes even maybe the mainstream media. And so that's always fascinating and interesting. So it shows the beauty of the human spirits, the divine spirits of human potential. And uh, for those of you out there that are, you know, interested in astrology and this kind of thing, you know, go check out the Magi Society's website. Go check out the Psychic Twins show on David, David uh, Baker's show, uh, Beyond the Gate, because uh, I commented, I, I shared that on Facebook, that link to their archived radio show, because I'd just been telling my father uh, that morning, <laughs> literally, before the show, that, that morning, that... Uh, you know, about astrology and about what we see coming up this summer, about the T-square, about the, uh, you know, the stiff opposition in mid-July, and uh, about this Uranus-Pluto that's squaring, that's coming, I mean, exact, June 24th. And I was trying to make it practical for him. I was trying to share with him, hey, this is what this can mean. Uh, <laughs> gas prices, man, you know, gas prices can go up. Gas prices are probably going to go up very high very high and so it means also that maybe food prices can go up so you know he's in a, a he's a professional guide down at Truman Lake he, he takes people on some very exciting fishing trips very exciting and it's it's really a great sport but they also eat what they catch or they throw back you know if it's not within the, the, the legal limit and so on but uh, I was giving him some practical advice you know prepare for this we sold uh, mopeds one summer and uh, made some uh, HHO kits, you know, that saved some on gas on uh, a truck that we had. And, uh, you know, we're trying to find ways to, to deal with the, the, the very high gas prices that were, you know, happening during that summer. So we expect that to, to happen again. And I was talking to him about that. I was telling him about, about this, you know. I mean, if you've got this, you're going to have to pass it on to your, you know, to the clients that you're taking down on these fishing trips because for him it's about an hour's drive that's just one way and so in any case there's some practical considerations given the astrology we see June 24th especially the week of July 15 a very turbulent you know stiff opposition time and with some mention I had seen I can't uh, I didn't find it today but I'd seen that the possibility of the Straits of Hormuz may be shut down who knows and then some, what can be some very, very difficult astrology around election time this year. So, in any case, um, I don't know how many people in history have predicted things down to the day or down to the week accurate using astrology, but I'm one of them. It's documented. It's published beforehand. Uh, you can read about it. You can see it on my YouTube channel. Look in the comments sections on some of those videos as far as the book. Uh, the ebook report, A Storm Warning for Israel, that was published to my eBay store at the time and was on my website at the time. I chose to uh, take that down for now because that's kind of a, a very hot topic and it's one that I kind of wanted to put behind me for now. So uh, we'll take a quick look at where I'm at. There's a couple of uh, some Georgian people there visiting, taking photos. Here's some church bells. And uh, I'm over the uh, the city of Belize, Georgia. There's the Freedom Bridge. There's the Presidential Palace, and this is the river. This is a very famous scene here. This is, if you study about the Republic of Georgia, you can see this in many photos. I've taken photos of this church here back in 2006 when I was with my then wife, now ex-wife, who. Last we had spoke is a U.S. Army Airborne Special Forces, uh, at least she was training then, for that. So, 
practically speaking, what do we see using Maze Astrology? Well, we see turbulent time coming up this summer. We see, um, you know, as I discussed with my father, uh, that that could be a possible uh, raise that will likely very strong probability of a, a strong uh, increase in gas prices. And that was later more or less confirmed by, like I said, you got to go listen to the Psychic Twins on Beyond the Gate and listen to that show very carefully. That's a great show. Um, and again, for those of you out there that are into astrology, I want to say this real quick that uh, Magi astrology is so much more uh, accurate and specific and much more scientific than any other astrology out there. It's much more modern. And we can see a lot more. You can see a lot more because we're using both the geocentric or earth centered and heliocentric, which is sun centered charts. And we're also not only using longitudes, but we're also using latitude. And that makes all the difference in the world. And I can track and predict and intuit more things than just world events, believe me. Uh, not only being able to time deaths and accidents and uh, you know positive things like when's a good time to maybe go and try to land a job or a career or uh, you know start something new which is what we call natalization but I've also been able to track out heartbreak and uh, also periods where it's greater you'll find love or have a, a greater chance of meeting someone that you're gonna have a lifelong or more a long-term loving relationship with so there are some fun positive, more personalized things that we can use astrology for. But uh, I'm just making this video today to explain, to confirm, and to state that I have down to the day accurate or weak accurate predicted officially now, so to speak, on YouTube, on Facebook, uh, on my website, on eBay, uh, all those things combined from 2007 until uh, this last uh, December 30th and today uh, with the stock markets going up to an all-time high within these last four years since 2008 that confirms part of my last uh, YouTube video that was published December 30, 2012 so and that's actually just part of the prediction I mean the other part of the prediction I mean you know, uh, is actually absolutely accurate too so we wait to see if the other part is going to be uh, correct or not and uh, again uh, thanks to the Magi Society uh, my mother father and, and brother my friends on Facebook thank you for all your support and encouragement in this and uh, much love peace and enjoy the view and I'm gonna close out as we look over the Caucasus Mountains here in Belize, the Republic of Georgia, a very ancient city. Uh, I think there's well over maybe 1,500 years or more of history here. And uh, there's certainly some interesting things that I put on my website. Be sure to visit uh, omsh.net, that's O M S H dot N E T, or universalstar.ges. And of course, my YouTube channel is TIGR7170. We had a cat here named Tiger. That's where that name comes from in 2006. And uh, if you're um, on Facebook, you can find me under Michael Vanderpool. So that's it for now. This is a uh, beautiful day here. Weather's not too bad, actually. It's a Mediterranean climate, so...